Hi, I'm Eduardo Lina. I'm going to perform one of the tasks in on this course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the editing on and I'm going to add an activity or a resource. In this case, I'm going to add a resource, but I want to first show you which activities and resources we have on Moodle. For that, I first have to enable edit mode. Notice that when you click add an activity or resource, you get a very long list of activities or resources that you can use on Moodle. Moodle has a language of its own, so when we talk about activities, we're talking about Moodle activities. When we talk about resources, we're talking about Moodle resources. There are fewer Moodle resources than Moodle activities. I am familiar with some of them. This is Moodle 4.2, so there are many activities that I'm not familiar with. I'm using Screen Call to create Screen Call to create this video which I am going to upload to the course. So let us choose now one activity first. I have used in this course, in the course that I'm creating, several H5P activities. To do that, I clicked on H5P activity and added it. But on this section, I am asked to present how I add a Moodle resource. I'm going to show how to add a resource. I click on resources to see those resources that are available. I'm going to choose page. The first thing that I have to do is to give my page a name. Notice that there are two rich editors. The first one may show a description of what I am going to have on that page. The second one is where I'm going to actually write or add whatever I want to add, and I can add text, images, a video, etc. I have to decide on the appearance. Do I want it to be displayed on the page or I want to display the description? When is the module available? Do I want to restrict? How do I want my pupils to know that they have completed the activity and whatever changes I make, I have to save and display. I get a default settings. So if I make changes, I have to click save and display. I also have to click save and display when I add content. I have already added a Moodle page. This is what it looks like. Notice that I have added words in English, in Hebrew, in Arabic, and there's even a an image. I could have added a video too here and some more things. How did I do that? Well, let's have a look at the edit settings so that you see what I have done. I have not written anything on, to display on the book page, but yes, I have written on this rich editor and I have added content. I have not made any change in the other settings saving it have allowed me to see the page as I have it. And here is another Moodle page where I have added a video, uh, images and words. Very useful. I prefer to use H5P because it looks more appealing than a Moodle page. But of course, both are useful for presenting material. H5P also allows interaction with the, with the material. That's why I like it very much. What exactly is artificial intelligence? We speak of AI when... I don't doubt that Moodle is great to teach languages. Thank you very much for your time and goodbye.